What's happening everybody? Today I'm doing a review for Fahrenheit 9-11, which is a documentary which was done by Michael Moore. This documentary, to say the least, is a very one-sided documentary, as in it is a very liberal documentary. Um, the problem I have with this documentary is it's mainly a liberal documentary, and I wish there was more conservative parts about it. This documentary is to make, make Bush look like he's the absolute um, guy to be shot at, basically. I know it's kind of late that I'm making this review, but I just barely saw it, like, yesterday. And I decided to give my thoughts on this whole documentary. I know that, you know, Obama wasn't in the office at that time, because right now, you know, it was Bush at the time, and he hadn't got for a second term. But there's a lot of things i got to talk about, so I'm going to get right into it, okay? First of all, this documentary seemed to grasp at straws to try to do anything it could to make Bush look like he was the worst president in all of humanity. This was a really bad documentary, and one of the worst parts about this documentary is that when they sit there and say something about Bush, they never say the other side of the story, and they never say anything about the Democrats, and the Democrats are, like, glorified in this documentary. And look, I'm all, I'm all for Democrats having their viewpoint, but let's try to make this a balanced documentary. Let's, you know, let's, if you're going to say something about Bush, why don't you say something about Bill Clinton? You know, or why don't you say something about any other Democratic president? And instead, it's like the whole this focus going on to Bush, like no end to tomorrow. It's ridiculous. It's pathetic. I mean, uh, it's it's crazy. But anyway, you know, and yeah, I mean, it's 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 absolutely pathetic. I mean, just to give you an example of something that I thought that was like absolutely pathetic was the you know. This Michael Moore guy was saying that Bush um, was, you know, 40% of the time was taking vacation and not being in the White House. Well, first of all, you don't have to be in the White House to be president of the United States. You can travel a little bit. And you know what? Barack Obama's done quite a bit of traveling, too, okay? The guy's done quite a bit of traveling. Bill Clinton did a lot of traveling. All the presidents did a lot of traveling. Or, for example, the day before 9-11, they were saying that you know, George Bush was laying in some nice linen cloths on a bed. Well, of course he is. He's president of the United States. He's going to have nice bedding. He's going to have a nice bed. He's probably going to have a sleep number bed or something better than that. He's going to be driving a nice ride. Of course. They act like the other presidents didn't do this stuff and it was all Bush. It was pathetic. This is absolutely terrible the way they do this. And they don't even go with the other side of it. And there's various other things. I go on and on and on. And, I mean... There's just various other things that's just quite ridiculous. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Another thing I found to be absolutely ridiculous about this documentary, Michael Moore seemed to reference back to his hometown, which was Flint, Michigan. I don't have a problem with that, but here's what he was saying. He was saying that there was these recruiters that were recruiting kids into the military because there wasn't very much other work in Flint, Michigan. It was kind of a rural, you know, kind of town. I know what it's like to be in a little town, so I'm not stupid. And he was saying that, you know, there were recruiters out there trying to get people out to the military because there wasn't very much work and all this other stuff. It was just kind of an infrastructure that was kind of broken down and stuff. And it looked pretty bad where he, you know, where, where he came from. And it kind of reminded me of, like, Detroit and that kind of thing. But anyway, um, you know, anyway, um, you know, he was saying that there were these recruiters that were recruiting men to go out in the military. And he was blaming Bush for that. Do you know how stupid that is? It doesn't have anything to do with Bush. It's Uncle Sam. It's Uncle Sam, people. He always wants people to come to the military. It's not anything new. That doesn't have anything to do with Bush. It's so ridiculous. And there's various other things, too. I mean, for example, a lady, oh, my God, I lost my son. He died out in Iraq. Well, yeah, he went to war, okay? I mean, you know, and she blames Bush for her son dying out in Iraq, saying it's all Bush's fault for her son dying out in Iraq. Well, you know what? He signed up for it, okay? I'm not going to sit here and try to sugarcoat it for you or anybody else for that matter. The military isn't meant to be a fun little playground where there's Teletubbies and fun stuff to do, okay? It's a war zone, okay? And when you go and fight for our country, you can die out there. It's just the way it is, okay? You're fighting for our country. You're fighting for our freedoms. And I have respect for people that fight for our country. And I, and I give my condolences to the mother that lost her son and all the other families that have lost their, ch their children that have gone to the military. 
that, that maybe were in their 20s or 30s, whatever the scenario was, my condolences goes to them, my condolences goes to people that have lost their limbs and everything else, my condolences goes to those people. But if they expect the military just to be a fun place where nothing bad can happen to them, you're out of your mind. It's just the way the military is. And they're trying to make it seem like the military is not supposed to be like that. Well, the military is supposed to be like that. So grow up, people. You know, this Michael Moore can't even come up with valid reasons. He's absolutely pathetic. I mean, and like I said, he looks at one side and doesn't look at the other side. Plus, he was all over the place on this 9-11 documentary. First of all, he was talking about 9-11. Then he was talking about Bush. Then he was talking about the military for about 30 to 40 minutes of the film and not saying anything about Bush. I don't know where this documentary really is trying to go. It's pretty pathetic, people. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, I kind of know what it's about, okay? It's about Bush. This whole thing is about Bush. But, you know, in, in response to something that happened at the beginning of the movie, when Michael Moore was saying that, you know, when Bush found out about 9-11, he was just kind of sitting there reading books to the kids in the classroom. You know, Michael Moore expected Bush to just get up off the chair and immediately leave the room. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with sitting down for a few minutes and trying to think about how you're going to take care of the situation. Because they come and tell him, look, there's a terrorist attack and they whisper it in his ear. And he thinks about it for a few minutes. And he, while he's kind of reading the book to the kids, he, you know, he's thinking about what he's going to do. What's wrong with that? They act like he was supposed to just get off his chair and come up with an immediate answer. You know, anybody who is wise at least sits down, at least tries to think about what they're going to do and plan what they're going to do instead of just being gung-ho and just doing something wild. I mean, it's just absolutely pathetic. This Michael Moore was doing anything he could just to make Bush look like he was the absolute... Uh, worst president that we've ever had it's ridiculous people and other people were doing the same thing by being a contributor to this documentary and this is one of the this is the worst documentary i've ever seen in my life it was so liberal it was an hour and 58 minutes that i lost that i wish i wouldn't have continued watching it i, I was stupid enough just to watch it because i wanted to really see what the other side really looks at things because i'm not liberal and i really wanted to see where people's viewpoints are and i'm you know i just can't believe that some people actually believe some of the things they're saying. I can't believe some of these things that people are actually saying, believing, so on and so forth. I can't believe that people are actually like this. But, you know, that's why there are two sides, you know, a left and a right. So, you know, anyway, it was interesting in the sense for me to be able to see what the other side was like. But all in all, if you're Republican or conservative, you're not going to like this documentary. But if you're liberal or Democratic, you are going to like this documentary. All in all, I give this documentary a zero out of ten. It's not even worth it to me because it's, it is so liberal. And if you're going to do a documentary, be fair and balanced about it. Bring some, you know, bring some Republicans in there. And, and at least bring the other side of what Democrats have done. Instead of just sitting there saying all that Bush did but not saying anything about the Democrats. Shoot, Bill Clinton's name was never even mentioned. I didn't expect Obama's name to be mentioned because this is such an old documentary. But they could have at least mentioned Bill Clinton or even any of the other presidents. And in regards to Iraq getting bombed and, you know, people getting bombed in Iraq. Hello? Look at Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor, th roughly 3,000 people died at Pearl Harbor. What did Franklin Delano Roosevelt do? He went and bombed Japan. Oh, oh. You know what I mean? It's so stupid. You see, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a Democrat. He was a Democrat. So Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a Democrat. Bush is Republican. 3,000 people got killed to 9-11, and then Bush goes and bombs Iraq. <laughs> it's crazy, people. I can't believe this. So anyway, this documentary for me was just a waste of time. I mean, there were, there were some interesting things I found interesting about this documentary in regards to Bush, you know, doing some stuff with the oil and stuff like that some of the stuff that were said I, I thought was interesting but for the most part i'd say this is a sheer waste of time do not watch this movie unless you are a straight up democrat or liberal because if you are not democrat or liberal forget it because this movie is not tailored for you at all and if you're in the middle and you're in undeciding mode and you can't decide which way you would go i would still recommend you know I think if you have any common sense within you, you're not going to watch this movie because it's ridiculous. If you have any common sense, if you have any brains, you're going to know that some of the stuff in here isn't just false, but it's just completely grasping at straws 
to do anything they can to devalue a person. It's absolutely pathetic and it's ridiculous and it's so negative and there's not really any positivity or any light to Bush or even you know any negativity or positivity to Democrats. It's just completely uplifting Democrats like no end to tomorrow and that's, that's all I gotta say. End of story. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.